is up everyone welcome back to another vlog i know it has been about five months since i made a video and let me tell you a lot has changed since then um i know my last video was the installing of the new headlights on the wrx as you can tell by the look and maybe even the sound i'm no longer in the wrx first let me just update you um about my life first off today's december 29th 2020 I know we've all been going through a lot and I hope you all are staying safe and with everything going on. A little bit about my life in the past two weeks. Um, so in the past two weeks, I have finally graduated college. I graduated from UTA, UT Arlington um, with my degree in management and marketing and I can't wait to use it. So I also did propose to Lauren on her birthday, December 16th. She said yes, so we are engaged. That is another huge thing that has happened. And the third thing that has happened is that I got a new car. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know what it is. I will plug my Instagram in a minute because it'll give it away. So without further ado, I'm gonna drive to a nice spot. We're gonna get some cinematics of the new car. And then I will go over everything about this car, why I did it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so here it is. This is the new car. This is my 2018 Chevy Camaro 1SS 1LE and gosh, I am in love with this car. So we'll just do a quick walk around um, just in case I missed anything in the cinematics. I'm sorry if it's a little windy, but uh, I'll go inside the car in a minute and then get into the details. But I've done a couple things so far but the black is beautiful definitely gonna have to do some paint correcting but so far from afar it looks beautiful there's just some swirls and scratches that i want to try to get this car looking perfect been trying to get into a muscle car for a while now and i think i found the perfect one for me all right guys so without further ado let's get into what the heck is going on why am i in this car why did i sell the subaru i know i had a ton done just give me a minute and i'm pretty sure you'll fall in love with this car too like i said this is a 2018 camaro ss 1le 455 horsepower 455 torque plenty for what i was wanting so i was either looking at this or a mustang i really wanted to get into a v8 and i have been for a while if you know me you know this is literally like my fifth car i have i've had a jeep i had a scion tc a genesis 3.8 and then I went to the Subaru so I've had literally pretty much everything but a V8 I've been wanting to try it out I saw not only did I see this car but I saw this spec I just wanted this exact spec in black and there was only two within 100 miles of me one sold like a week before I got this so this was literally the last one and I just had to jump on it and get it and I did and I am so thankful I did but if you're like me um this is literally um my first camaro of course and i really didn't know much about the camaros before i got this but i did fall in love with the 1le package i knew a lot that it had but i didn't know everything and it has a lot of cool stuff i'm just gonna go over some of the cool things that comes in the 1le package like you saw in the cinematics it comes with the satin wrapped hood the satin painted mirrors and the satin painted spoiler on the trunk which looks awesome 
I do plan on getting a wicker bill to throw on the trunk, but that's gonna be down the road. It also does come with the front splitter up front, which looks awesome, and I don't even really wanna change that up. Eventually, I may do the ZL1 bumper conversion from Icon Motorsports because that looks so aggressive, and also I do want the canards with that as well. But it also does come with the suede steering wheel and the suede shift knob. It is a six-speed manual. I had to stick with the manual, of course because I really didn't go back to an automatic at this point and this car is so much fun to drive so much more fun in my opinion manual than if I were to get an automatic I feel like there's just so much more control and the power to the ground is a lot better I feel in the manual um, it does come with the Magna ride magnetic ride control which adjusts dampening and stuff on its own which is amazing the technology in this car is amazing like I'm probably gonna do a separate video but just some of my favorite features is like the heads-up display came with Apple CarPlay which I didn't even know until like a couple days later and there's so many settings on your dash that you can control it's crazy so there is three different modes on this car and there's a little mode um, changer down here there's touring sport and track and honestly I keep it in sport um, because track is really really stiffens the suspension and the steering um, you can control like how you want everything so you can keep it in track but if you want to change the steering to always be in touring you can do that in the settings which is awesome but honestly I just keep it in sport and I do want to take it to the track one day so be looking out for a video where we go to the track hopefully next year not only does it come with a 20 inch forged aluminum wheels um, in the front and the rear but it also comes with the 285 30 20 tires up front and the 305 30 20 tires in the rear and I the biggest tire I've ever had is a 255 so 305 is in the back super meaty they are still the stock tires and that is one thing that I'm going to have to replace soon because they are getting pretty bad so if you have any tire suggestions let me know in the comments. It also has the NPP exhaust, uh, the dual mode exhaust so in touring mode it shuts the valve and it pretty much makes it really quiet but honestly I keep it in sport so the valve is always open and it is perfectly tame like on the inside of the car it sounds really good but I'll, I might try to get some revs for you guys. sport and the valve is open from behind the car it is super loud what i also found out which is really cool is it has a cooling package it's called the track cooling package and that comes with an oil cooler a differential cooler and a transmission cooler which is amazing so when i do go to the track keep my temps down and hopefully won't overheat anything available for the one le is the performance data recorder which is like there's like a camera above the mirror that you can like set up to track your stuff at the track like to you know times and stuff like that i don't have that yet and i probably don't plan on getting that that's just a feature that is really good for if you're really going to dedicate this to a track car but since i did trade in the subaru it's definitely going to be my daily too so i'm mostly going to be easy on it so i did forget one feature which is the auto rev matching which is amazing you literally just push in the clutch and then drop go down to a lower gear and it automatically blips the throttle um, I know some people are going to say that's pretty cheap, but it is amazing and it sounds so good. And it also helps me out because it'll be less wear on the clutch. And this car is so smart. So the transmission, I'm just going to let it do its thing. For what I've done so far, I've done some minor things. I did black out the Camaro emblems on the side of the car. I did get a new SS emblem up front to match the bow ties. The bow ties came black and chrome which look a lot better than the yellow or orange or whatever they come from the factory. I also did get a 1LE badge on the rear bumper as well as I just installed the tail lights. I was going to make a video but they're super simple. It's like three clips, three bolts and then unclip it and throw them in. So it's super simple. There's a ton of videos on YouTube about it. But I did um, get, they are the GM smoked tail lights from Aztec Performance. I did find them on Facebook on the used marketplace so that was super awesome coming soon is the third brake light to match the taillights i'm definitely going to do a full paint correction 
and I will need new rear tires. Um, I think the fronts are good, but I'm definitely gonna need rear tires soon. So I'm also gonna look into getting an oil catch can, uh, probably Mishimoto and maybe a Rotofab intake, but I'm gonna keep the exhaust the way it is for a while. Maybe down the road, I would like to get some two inch Atlas long tube headers. Um, and I'll probably keep the MPP exhaust just because of the valves and personally, it sounds good to me. So that is pretty much it about the car so far. Um, I'm glad I finally got to introduce it to the channel. So I can't wait to make like some POV driving videos with this car. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Any suggestions that you wanna see done to this car, put them in the comments as well. Here's my Instagram if you want to follow for more Camaro content now. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.